Hello everyone, Randy and Kristen here. Thank you for watching this episode of Ambitious. So today we're actually going to go out and do some tankless diving with our Brownie Sea Lion. Uh, it's a third long tankless dive system and runs off of uh, battery powered, uh, lithium ion, I think. I don't know, so it sounds good anyway. Um, so we've been coming out for the last uh, lobster season open last Sunday, and so we came out, found a bunch of really large females, so obviously couldn't take any of those. Most of the males that we saw were uh, too small, but for the last few weeks, we've been finding more lionfish than we typically see this close to shore. Um, and really, we're just attached to a mooring buoy uh, a couple thousand yards, maybe a thousand yards off of the beach here uh, in Pompano Beach. And we're just basically going to be diving down anywhere from 15 feet to 40 feet, just hitting all the different reefs here. Uh, you know, due to regulations, we got to stay within 300 feet of the boat. Um, but with our brownie dive system, it does have the floating above water with the dive flag and everything, so it's pretty visible out in the water. But as you can see, uh, it's a little rougher today than they forecast. It's supposed to be one foot seas about every three seconds. This is more. Uh, two to three, uh, pretty much non-stop, but yeah. we're going to give it a go anyway. Uh, we also got some pretty cool tools to try out, so we really not like the traditional just net and tickle stick. So we got this cool little thing, which comes with the uh, tickle stick, it's attached to it. Also got your measuring device here and the net, which is really awesome. You can open it up this way, and then you can even close it while you got the lobster in there. Another thing too is if you keep it closed while you're diving down and stuff, it creates less drag, so it's really kind of easier to maneuver down there, especially if you're digging it under the rocks, because I actually spend most of my time upside down underwater, <laughs> looking under all the ledges. And then we also got a snare because we were just seeing too many opportunities that we could have got some lobsters that we were in size, and we just couldn't get to them with the tickle stick and try to get them out. So we're gonna try the snare. Also, I've you know, come to learn last week that trying to net lionfish when you see them is extremely difficult. So we may even, I may even go down with a little cressy, a little, little three prong, little spear. Uh, it's a three piece so I can make it as, uh, you know, as long and short as I need to. And um, so I may actually go down with this just to take care of the lionfish while she's grabbing all the lobsters. Not really sure yet. Uh, generally, I guess our first dive, we'll go down and try the new toys out. And then depending on what we see, I'll come back, get the prong spear, and then we'll go remove all the lionfish that we can. Uh, we typically don't eat them, don't try to eat them, don't even try to touch them. I just try to remove them from the habitat because they're an invasive species. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna take you guys with us today. As I said, there's very few boats out here today just because of, uh, I guess the, the water. Yeah. Not really sure. We'll, we may find out when we get underneath, but we're not really scared of some waves, so we're gonna figure it out. Uh, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we use our brownie third lung. Uh, it's the Sea Lion, again, battery powered. I'll show you exactly how we pump it up, how we hook everything up, and we generally let it go ahead and start running it back so we get all the kinks and get our line straight. And at the same time, that allows us to get dressed up. We also got some uh, new masks that we're gonna be trying out today as well. Uh, so it should be a good day. So we're gonna take you guys with us. So uh, let's go find some fish or lobsters or whatever. Well, don't forget your measuring tool for your lobsters too. You have to make sure that they are within what is that, three inches? Three. Three inches there. So they're not this big, you have to let them go. Don't forget that. Yeah. And don't keep the females. Yeah. All right. So we're <laughs> going to start pumping this up, and yeah, this then uh, we'll show you guys how it goes. So generally, it comes with a nice little release valve here, and it also comes with this little connector. This is actually the third lung. We're going to use it to pump this up. So that just goes in there and locks that way. Make sure you got your cover off here if you were your intake for your air. And then we'll sit here and pump this that way up. thing is this comes with a little velcro so you can velcro it and then this is actually the cap you cap it off and if you want to let air out you just push this little yellow button here and gets all the air out it literally takes less than a minute to really completely deflate this big thing it's pretty awesome we also used uh, the pump to pump up all the little floaties that my wife and daughter like to take when we go to the sandbar 
Yeah. You gotta have floaties or else it's All right. No fun. So next step is this. Okay. A little bit heavy. Pop it in place. Yeah. No, I didn't wait. Just got it. There we go. Alright, so <laughs> now it's in there, it's all nice and snug. We gotta run this through the bottom. To your reserve tank. Come in the flat here. Yep. All right, and this is your snorkel. There you go. Are we in? Yep. And this is what takes in the air. Also, is our dive flag. Let people know we're down. All right. Next, hook our hose. This hose will go to a Y splitter. Should be right here. Yep. So then this piece connects to your reserve tank. <laughs> and generally what we do is we don't just turn this on and jump in. We turn it on, let it fill the tank up, and uh, while we're getting dressed and everything, and then we also extend it out, let the lines get really long. Uh, because the worst thing in the world would be to get a kink in your line. Because you get a kink, you don't get in the air, you don't get in the air, it really sucks down there. So. So we are completely hooked up now. Um, so next thing we want to do is drop this off to the side of the boat. And then we also got some other pretty cool tools we want to try out as well. So we generally use some of my deep dropping weights or some regular belt weights for, uh, for weights to get down to the bottom. And so we decided to get some soft weights, uh, which we haven't used yet, but so far we really love them. So I usually run about eight pounds to stay down myself without any gear on. Uh, if I got a wetsuit, I may even have to up that a little bit more quite actually. Um, and then Christian's been running about six pounds. But we got a couple different denominations in this, so uh, we can get the weights just right. But the cool thing about the Brownie Third Long is the weight belts. So not only is this a belt, but you actually connect your regulator to this so that all the tension's back here and it's not pulling on your mouth. And so as you're swimming along, all the tension's back here, it's pulling the tank from behind you, so freaking awesome. How's that belt? Wow, these actually feel heavier. Yeah, they might be. All right, so um, we're gonna go ahead and get all our gear on. Um, probably not cool to watch us put our gear on anyway. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna get our gear on. A couple other things too, as we always hook, instead of taking this down there and just having one more thing hooked to us, we actually just hook this to that. And when I bring it up there, I dump lionfish inside that, and then we dump all our lobsters inside here. Works out pretty well. Uh, probably will break down and buy one of the little lionfish habitat homes, uh, lionfish hotel, whatever they call them. Yeah, I don't know what they call lionfish them. Lionfish condo. <laughs> but for now, this is what we use for the lobsters. We don't take it down to the bottom because honestly, we're not scuba. And then uh, 
with this machine, it's not that big a deal. Go up and down. Um, you still just gotta be careful with your breathing and all that, and hold your breath. Watch your lungs expansion and everything. But other than that, um, we're gonna go ahead and get ready, get our mask ready, and we're gonna dive in. So the next time you see us, it'll be underwater. Woohoo! Talk to you soon. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're dancing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.